Welcome back to my latest nine ball breakout review. Tim here to break it all down for you. This is my nine ball series. It's been going on for a little while. I might have to switch it up and start doing eight ball. Let me know in the comment section if it's time to mix it up a little bit and maybe go back to doing some eight ball. If this is getting a little stale, but today we got a crazy one. Um, combos galore. Combos galore to run out this nine ball rack. And you're gonna see it in full on action here. One ball goes in on the break, and now we are gonna hit the one to the two and the five and the six. So this is gonna be insane here. Boom, there it is. And now we got another combo. I'm gonna hit the one to the two and make both of them. So this is gonna be a quick rack because balls are just flying into the holes left and right. Look at that. Boom, between the break and first two shots, I already hit in like four balls. Yeah, four balls in. Okay, I got five more I gotta hit in. Actually, not even because it looks like the eight and the nine might be lined up for a perfect combo here. So here I gotta hit the three and watch this shot. This is insane. In the rail, almost scratches there, comes back across, almost scratches there. That was an impossibly difficult shot and impossibly unlikely that it doesn't even scratch in any of the pockets. Now I gotta hit the five in. Not too tough of a shot here. Just use draw to make sure it stays on this side of the seven ball for the next shot. Maybe a slight amount of right English on this. Yeah, you gotta, in my experience, you gotta use draw just to keep that from going forward up to the, you know, just like go up to the rail up there and be totally, totally wrong, all totally wrong. I think it actually good to use a little bit of low right. I mean, if you're not hitting it super hard, it's not gonna come back a lot. Like this one, I'm using low right as well. Um, I got more of an angle, so I don't have to do an extreme amount. And yeah, just kind of a soft hit there. That worked out pretty much perfect. To get it to come back to where I wanted it to. Now I just gotta observe the angle here. Right about there. Maybe cut it a little more than it would if I was just going directly into the pocket. It's close enough where I should be able to make this. Use a little top spin on this. Just make sure it goes straight up into the top rail and doesn't uh, find any pocket to scratch. In. Yeah, perfect. There it is. A bunch of combos for you to clear that rack.